Hello, this is JNM with the next part of Sculpting the Human Head, in which we are going to create the nose. Again, I uploaded the project to my Gumroad, the link is added to the description. It contains every Blender project that we are creating in this series, so that you can follow along and practice. Ok, so let's go ahead and continue where we stopped last time. We sculpted the ears and extruded a nose. I increased the size a bit using the grab brush. Like that, later on we have to move the nostrils into place, but the first thing I do is to carve in the two holes of the nose. And I use the draw brush for this and hold the control key pressed to invert the direction. And then I carefully subtract geometry, I don't make the holes too large, and you see the geometry is quite stretched where we carve into the mesh, but I can press control and the R key to remesh to get an even topology again. Ok, now I adjust the shape a bit using the grab brush. Carefully find a good shape here at the nostrils. Ok, that's good enough. Then we snap the view to write orthographic and here we see the reference image. And it's ok, it doesn't have to match perfectly. I hide it for the moment. And then we come to a very important part and this is the location of the nostrils. We have to move them a bit more to the inside of the face. And now have a look at this, I move this kind of arc upwards. This is really important for the overall shape. And another important part is this one here in the middle. I move it a bit down to create a kind of silhouette like this. I don't say that every nose looks like that, but it has at least similar attributes. Have a look at references or photos of your own nose for example and you would see that the part in the middle is visible from the side view. Ok, now I make this part a bit wider and this part thinner and bring out the nostrils a bit. Yeah, carefully adjust the shape. Ok, and then I come with the grease brush and emphasize the outlines of the nostrils. Also carefully we are at a quite low level of resolution. Also this part here at the side is a bit indented and this area is flat. We can flatten it at this low resolution when we hold the shift key and smooth. Ok, and also the part here at the front is more flat, I mean the upper part is a bone. So I switch to the scrape brush and make it more flat. I use a tablet for this, but it is possible using the mouse as well. Ok, it's getting better and better and always come with the grab brush to adjust the shape, the volume, rotate the view to see the mesh from different angles. Ok, nice, then I select the inflate brush to add some volume here at the sides. Here we have the bones of the skull, forming the eye socket. And also inflate and indicate some shapes here around the eyes, just to, you know, integrate the nose a bit more. And then a bit more adjusting the nostrils and the overall shape. Then I compare it with the reference. Again, it doesn't have to match perfectly, but I bring it out a bit more to the front. And I'm quite happy with the result at this level. Some more adjustments for the nostrils. And I call it done. Ok, as I said, the new project is uploaded to the Gumroad page, the link is in the description, get it from there and start with the project I used, follow along and practice. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Also follow me on my Instagram where I upload my sculptings and short videos. Join as a member or become a patron and I see you in the next one here on JNM.